Welcome to Holly Sniper EFI Training Part 8. In this training module, we're going to be exploring setting up our basic sensor inputs. These are things that we always have to have configured right, and we want to make sure the values are registering right before we fire up our engine and do any tuning. Without further wait, let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at setting up our basic sensor configuration details using our Holly Sniper EFI systems. Now our basic sensors that we have coming into our Sniper are going to be coolant temperature, intake air temperature, manifold air pressure, also known as our map pressure sensor, as well as throttle position, and then lastly we have our battery voltage. All of this information is used in the Holly Sniper system in order to deliver the proper amount of fuel and spark to our engine so it's going to run correctly. We want to make sure that these basic sensors are set up and scaled correctly here in the software. Now the Holly Sniper system is a little bit unique in terms of the Holly product lineup. We have our HP and Dominator and our Terminator X. They're intended to be used more of in a universal type of environment where we can marry it to almost any kind of engine. It's the same case with the Holly Sniper. However, they're giving us these basic sensors already pre-configured within the sniper out of the box, meaning intake air temp, that's gonna be built right into the sniper. The coolant temp sensor supplied with our sniper kits. We have the map sensor built right into the sniper, throttle positions integrated into the sniper, and then battery voltage will obviously be coming in whatever the battery is reading coming into the sniper. When we're looking at something like a Terminator X, HP, Dominator boxes, we have a ton of configurability on those specific sensors in terms of changing the scaling options. If we wanna change the intake air temp sensor from a GM to another type, we're able to do that. If we wanna change our map pressure sensor to a different type, we're able to do that. With the base sniper kits, everything is pre-configured for us. So we have really minimal setup in terms of the sensors but we do have some configuration options in terms of giving us warnings within our basic sensor details. So if we have something that's not acceptable range for the sensor to be in. So for example, if our coolant temp gets too high and we start to overheat, we wanna know that. We can set warnings in our software so it's gonna catch our attention and we can very easily see that there's some kind of a problem with these basic sensor channels. So we're gonna go take a look at how we can configure this now as a bonus, when we're configuring this for our software use, so that's gonna display uh, visually and give us an indication that there's something wrong in terms of sensor channel readings, it'll also translate through over to your LCD display used with your sniper. So if you have your uh, sensor data coming up, that live sensor data that you can see on your LCD display, if you have something like your water temperature starting to overheat, when we're setting a warning limit It'll display that through that specific channel on the LCD display. So either way, we want to go and set these ranges, acceptable ranges for our sensors coming in here, basic sensors, so that we have that kind of heads up when we're looking either in the software or the LCD. So when we're running our engine, we know if there is a problem, it'll give us an indication. Let's jump in here and take a look at where we can find our sensor configuration details. So first thing we're going to find here, I'm sitting in my vehicle right now, key on, engine off. So my sniper system is powered on. The USB cable is plugged into my sniper, which is plugged into my laptop. I am in the offline mode right now specifically so that we can take a look at our area right here called our sensors. This is gonna be our sensors ICF, allowing us to go in and take a look at all of our basic sensor details. So we do not wanna be in the online state or go up here to USB link and click this to get online because it'll gray out our sensors. We're not able to calibrate our sensors when we're online, when the engine's running. We cannot do that. We have to do it when we're in the offline mode and then transfer the data to the Holly. And we'll take a look at that here in a little bit. So let's jump in here and take a look at our sensors area here. So let's click on our sensors ICF and what we'll see pop up on our screen here is all of our basic sensors that I was just talking about. We have our map pressure, we have our coolant temperature, manifold air temperature, battery voltage, and throttle position, TPS. We also find engine RPM is another field in here in terms of a basic input that we have to have that's coming from our crank trigger that's telling the Holly how fast the engine is spinning, engine position or engine speeds used in all kinds of various calculations with the Holly system. So we have that as another basic input. Um, let's go through here and take a look. 
Now, I do wanna mention here that there are down at the bottom here, custom one, two, and three available. These are additional sensor channels that we can wire into a super sniper system. That's actually the system I have on my vehicle that I'm working with here. If you have a base sniper, these are going to be grayed out and you can't edit them because you don't. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you wanna see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you wanna go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here, and you don't wanna miss any of the videos we're gonna be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.